so weird how our prejudices have given everyone their lane. A Middle Eastern does something, they're a terrorist. A black person does something, they're gang related, they're a thug. But if a white guy walks into a church killing nine people dead, what do they lead with on the news? And today, in an isolated incident, a lone gunman walked into a church opening fire and killing nine people. It's always a lone gunman. Yeah, a lone gunman with no ties to society whatsoever. <laughs> they always separate him as quickly as possible. I love how they do that. He kept to himself and was notoriously unfriendly. He had no friends whatsoever. No, no friends, really? No, no friends? Not even one? Not even one? No friends? Like, not even on Facebook? <laughs> no, everyone has friends on Facebook. Come on, you tell me the guy had no friends. It's almost like as the shooting happens, everyone's like, what, Dylan? Unfriend, 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 unfriend. It's the weirdest thing ever. And the first thing they always go to is mental instability. That's what they go to, the first thing. They never go with terrorism. Uh, what happened? Are we, are we saying this was terrorism? Well, we, we're not going to uh, jump to that conclusion. Uh, this was a young man who was uh, really uh, mentally, uh, he was unstable, he was a troubled uh, young man, uh, but he was a terrorist because he committed a terrorist act, walked into a building, shot a bunch of people to try and spread a message of hatred, right? He was trying to pass something. He was trying to do something. That's an act of terror. And, uh, <laughs> Well, well, look, no, no, not necessarily. He was a, a troubled young man. Yes, and a terrorist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he was mentally unstable, just like terrorists. <laughs> That's exactly what a terrorist is. There's no normal reason to blow yourself up. That is ridiculous. <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. But you're still a terrorist. It's, weird. it's almost like without realizing it, what they're saying on the news is, you know, uh, this young white man is uh, clearly stru uh, struggling with something, I mean, uh, <laughs> because uh, why would you forego all that privilege? Why would you... <laughs> I mean, he was a young white man. Why would you throw that all away? By, I mean, if he was a minority, I get it, because that <laughs> sucks, but I mean... Why would you throw it? He must be crazy. This is madness. I refuse to be part of this. I refuse to live in a world where we'll deny white people the moniker of terrorist. That's racism, people. That's what that is. <laughs> if a white man through hard work and determination commits an act of terror, he deserves to be called a terrorist. He worked for it, damn it. You don't deprive him of that because of the color of his skin. <laughs> you give it to him and you put him up there. Bin Walid and Charlie. Charlie! It's terrorism. We all, we all have our prejudices, don't get me wrong. It's not like I, you know, I, I try to be better. I really do. I realize every now and again I do things that I'm not particularly proud of. You know, like, for instance, whenever I fly into America, if I've been out of the country and flying back into America, I always try to fly on Middle Eastern Airlines, specifically. <laughs> so I fly on Emirates or Qatar or Etihad or one of those. And the reason I do this is because I feel there's less chance <laughs> that somebody... <laughs> oh my God. Uh, that somebody, and this may sound a little bit racist, you have every right to be offended, you really. But I feel like there's less chance that somebody will attack one of those planes. <laughs> For, for a few reasons. Number one, because they're not proving a point. <laughs> Planes already Muslim-owned, Muslim-run. They're not converting anybody. And secondly, and more importantly on my side, I, I think there's a small chance somebody could defuse the situation. Someone could talk them down just because they speak the same language. <laughs> that's, that's half of terror for me, is the fact that you don't understand what the person says. The guy speaking Arabic, Arabic, that puts fear in the hearts of all men. You never think good things when you hear Arabic. Yeah, we've watched, we've watched too many movies and TV shows. Like, you, whenever you hear Arabic, then some bad shit happens. They, immediately, that's always what happens. It's never something cool or sexy. It's never like... It's never that. And so it makes you think. It makes you think a certain way. I know, I know I'm not any different. I was on a flight. My first Middle Eastern flight, flying on an Emirates plane, and this man emerged from the galley, had a long beard, and he was carrying a box, and he just went off. He was like, Hello, Allah, 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 All
Chicken, please. Chicken. Sorry, I. <laughs> I get really excited for chicken. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for that. Sorry. It's like my friend excited. You looked petrified. I said I am of the flavor. Chicken. Wow. I love chicken. I love chicken so much. He's like, oh, is that a, is that a black thing? <laughs> this, this is a little thing that makes me think there's a chance that if someone understands the language, they may be able to talk the guy down. You, they could be. They could be a terrorist on the plane. A guy with a suicide vest, be flying 40,000 feet in the sky. A man jumps off, losing his head. There he is. Hello, Allah, and just maybe, maybe, some guy will be opposite him, like, Hey! What are you doing? I'm going to blow up this plane to show everybody that Allah is great! Yeah, but, uh, We know this. Everybody here knows this. So what are you doing? I wanted to show all of you the power of... What are you showing us if we already know, huh? What are you showing us? Are you saying we are not good Muslims? Is that what you are saying? Huh? Are you saying we do not know the power of Allah? Is that what you are saying? You are saying we are bad Muslims? What are you saying? No, my friend, please. I was not trying to offend you. I was just trying to kill you. Listen to what I, what I wanted to show you. What are you showing me, huh? Are you saying I do not pray? Is that what you are saying? You are better Muslim than me? You think I'm not good Muslim just because I'm watching Cloudy with a chance of meatballs? Is that what you think? <laughs> what are you saying? No, I'm not saying that. I wanted to... What are you showing? You show nothing. You make us look bad. Why don't you preach? Why don't you talk to people, huh? This is not Islam. What are you doing with your stupid vest? Blah, 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 blah. You make us all look bad. No, no, I was not... No, you're not trying nothing. No, you even got your vest backwards. You don't even know what you're doing yet. You, Sorry, this is my first time. I've never done this before. Yeah, yeah, story, story. Sit down, shut up, eat something. I don't know if I can... No, it's all halal. You can eat it. Don't worry. You can eat it. You can eat it. All of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stupid. This is a chance that I could happen. This is a small chance that that could happen. And that's why I do it.